what's up, what's up, what's up, passengers? How y'all doing today? It's your boy, Heavy Duty. Coming at you with another mukbang thing, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, hey, all aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. And, uh, y'all, comment, like, and share for me. One more time, comment, like, and share for me. And if you're new to the channel, if you would, run over hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell, select all. That way, every time we upload a video or go live, you get a notification and come check me out. Y'all, hey, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Then I'll tell you what this good looking stuff is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ready? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you at this time to thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings that you've set upon us. Lord, we ask you to bless this meal from the nourishment of our body. We ask you to forgive us our sins and our shortcomings. We ask all these things in your Son Jesus' name. Amen, 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 y'all. Y'all, I'm tired. I've been working with my uncle a little bit today, separating some of that scrap. I got all dirty. I had to come home, take a shower, and then cook dinner. Well, actually, I started on the dinner, and then took a shower, and then finished dinner. So, I let my biscuits a little, a little, just get a little too brown, but they still going to be good. So, we got biscuits. We got seasoned green beans. They got green beans and potatoes in it. They come this um, I forgot the I think the Glory brand or something like that is, is the name of the, the the brand they are. And then we got some big pork steaks, barbecued, and I put some salt and pepper and some steak seasoning on that joker too. So uh, I don't know about y'all, but I'm hungry. I want to buy these green beans first. Y'all know me. I love some green beans. Y'all want to buy them? Oh, get a tater on there too. Y'all want a tater? <laughs> a tater! Mmm. I ain't letting it get away. Mmm. <laughs> oh, good. I love these green beans. They seasoned with the potatoes in it. They're so delicious. Mmm. How'd y'all like that chili dog? Them jokers look good, didn't they? Once again, I gotta thank Miss Carol. Miss Carol Pope. For sending me the recipe. Good old Dr. Pepper getting out, y'all. Ah. Excuse me. Bug burp. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I cooked these jokers in the oven on 375. For about 40 minutes, took them out. Of course, I had full covered them. Took the foil off, or moved it to the side. Put the barbecue sauce on top, smoothed it out, served, smothered it. I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Put it all over the top of it anyway. <laughs> and then I put some more salt and pepper, some more steak seasoning. I'm joking pretty good. Put them back in the oven for a little bit. Put the foil back on it. Mm. Do it like this. Y'all want to buy that? Yum, yum. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. Huh. Earlier, we got these, me and my mom picked these up yesterday whenever we went to my eye doctor's appointment after we left there. Went to Subway at 8. And then we went over to Walmart over in Carnival. And got these. And today, of course, my total, my total last night ain't no need to put it in the freezer because I'm going to cook them tomorrow. So, I set them jokers on the top shelf in the refrigerator in the back. Yesterday after we got back, and uh, well, I took some jokers out earlier, right before, I, right before I started cooking. The one on the top in the back was about half froze. I was like, what the? F I, they still got part of me froze. I told my mom, and she's like, oh, I didn't know. I was like, well, I didn't know either. <laughs> Mm. Should have got me a knife, y'all. It's what I should have did. But, should have, could have, would have, huh? <laughs> oh. Yep, I should have got a knife. I think I've cooked them just a little too long. They're not as tender as I wanted them to be. Looks like, looks like I cooked everything just a little too long. The pork steak, the biscuit, the green beans I didn't. <laughs> They're perfect. Good job. I like to use that um, McCormick brand um, steak seasoning, uh, even on chicken, pork chops, a lot of stuff. Put it in my noodles. <laughs> I use it as a multi-purpose seasoning. I just like the flavor. I was going to do some whole corn of corn to go with it. But We ain't had none. So I did some uh, cream salt corn for them. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't really like it that much. I don't like the texture. So. I can do it with just pork chop or pork steak and green beans and biscuits. Taters up here, want to do something with them. <laughs> mm. 
Alright. That's what we're going. about pool too. Close to it. But you can best believe I'm going to finish that pork chop. Or pork steak. Pork something. It's a pig. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hopefully it's ain't cool. We definitely try to do that. Y'all I got up this morning. <coughs> was um looking on Facebook and I seen where my brother from another mother, Roger, the guy who I uh, stayed a couple weeks with after uh, after me and me and Lady Boss split up, broke up. Um, his mom is an active active heart failure. She's not doing too good right now. Um, when I talked to him this morning, they said it started yesterday. Uh, her not recognizing any anybody. Um, she's stubborn and hard headed. Didn't wouldn't wouldn't go to the hospital. I guess they finally made her go today. And that's what they said was going on. Hope y'all would say a little prayer for Miss Linda Caps. That she could get through this and get to come back home. I love you, Mama. I call her, I call her mama. Mm. I'm complaining with it. I want all that meat off the bone. <laughs> Every bit of it. y'all. Sorry for growling at you. Whoo! If I didn't let go of that one, I might have turned into a monster. <laughs>
Pretty good. Even if I do say something myself. Mm. All right. I know what's how it is. Time for the daily bread and the daily reflection. Today is what? Tuesday? No, today's Wednesday. I think. Damn. Ooh, excuse me. Let me look at my shirt. Wednesday, May the 26th. Hmm. I thought I had read the right one this morning. I almost didn't. Alright, today's reading comes from, of course, when I read this, I didn't, I didn't read the Daily Bread this morning. I read, I read my Daily Reflection every morning, though. Um, today's reading comes from 1 Corinthians 16, 10 through 14. It says up at the top, do everything in love. The title for the day is Brave Love. The four chaplains weren't known as heroes. But on a frigid February night in 1943, when their transport ship, the SS Dorchester, was torpedoed off the coast of Greenland during World War II, the four gave their all to calm hundreds of panicked soldiers. With the ship sinking and injured men jumping for overcrowded lifeboats, the four chaplains calmed the pan pandemic pandemonium by pre preaching courage, a savior said. When life jackets ran out, each took his off, giving it to a frightened young man. They had, they had determined to go down with the ship so the others might live. Said one savior, so, uh, survivor, it was the finest thing I have seen or hope to see this side of heaven. Linking arms as the ship began to sink, the chaplains prayed aloud together, offering encouragement to those perishing with them. Bravery marks their saga. Love, however, defines the gift the four offered. Paul urged such love of all believers, including those in the storm-tossed church at Corinth. Royaled by conflict, corruption and sin, Paul urged them to be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Then he added, do everything in love. It's a sterling command for every believer in Jesus, especially during a crisis. In life, when upheaval threatens, our bravest response reflects Christ giving to others his love. I like that. That's, that's a good one today, y'all. I mean, to basically give your life to help others survive. I mean, that's, I mean, that's what they did. They gave their lives to help as many as they could survive. I mean, that, that shows how deep their faith in God was. And that's, that's how I want to be. I want to. I want to be like that. I want to. I want to give my life, put my life towards helping others to be able to survive. What does selfless? What? Why does selfless love reflect Jesus? How can His love influence how you respond in a turbulent situation? Well, I mean, if you've got selfless love, I mean, that's, that's what Jesus did. He gave, he gave his life to save ours. To, to cover all of our sins 
from then until forever. I mean, that's... So, I mean, if we, not per se, give our life, I mean, die, I mean, yeah, some people do to save others. But, I mean, to, but to go out and preach the good word and help, help others that are, that are in need, that's, I mean, that's selfless love, I, th I think. I mean, that definitely, definitely ref reflects Jesus. The prayer for today says, Jesus, when I don't feel brave, which is often, stir up my courage to boldly offer, offer love. Amen. Stir, stir up my courage to boldly offer love. Every day. I need, I need him to do that, do that for me every day. Oh, man. All right, time for the daily reflection. Turning negative into positive. That's the title for the day. Our spiritual and emotional growth in AA does not depend so deeply upon success as it does upon our failures and setbacks. If you will bear this in mind, I think that your slip will have the effect of kicking you up, kicking you upstairs instead of down. That's from as Bill sees it sorry y'all I had to scratch my face. That's from as Bill sees it page one eighty four. In keeping with the pain and adversity which our founders encountered and overcame in establishing AA, Bill W sent us a clear message a relapse can provide a positive experience toward abstinence and a lifetime of recovery. A relapse brings truth to what we hear repeatedly in meetings. Don't take that first drink or drug. It reinforces the belief in the progressive nature of, of the disease and it drives home the need for and beauty of humility in our spiritual program. Simple truths come in complicated ways to me, when I become ego, when I become ego driven, and that's true. I mean, because if you're an alcoholic or a drug addict, and you relapse when you get to, when you take that first one, it don't matter if it's one sip of a beer, one hit of a joint, or whatever your drug of choice may be one little bit of any of it is a relapse and that's why they say don't take that first drink or drug because when you do a lot of times uh, sometimes you don't make it back I mean I know when I was the treatment center I was in that I, that I just got out of the day that I went down there a guy left he left he left early um, he was in transition and within, I think maybe a month of him leaving, he died. He he was a, he was an alcoholic. He drank he drank himself to death. And uh, you now we know that because whenever uh, when it happened, we was doing. It was after our nightly wrap up we had from eight to eight thirty. We was watching TV or or playing dominoes or listening to music or just reading our books or doing doing whatever we do at night. And um, they came and rounded us all up and had us come in, in, into the cafeteria in the kitchen and told us that what had happened because there was some in there that was in there that knew him from the outside world and they wanted them to hear it from the staff, not hearsay coming in from the outside, or them talking to somebody they know and them telling them not how, how the story really was or something like that. So I mean, it, it does. I mean, if you if you take that first drink of drug, sometimes you might not make it back. 
I mean, me myself, I've gotten lucky. I mean, I, I, I think I was really close to an overdose one time. I had been using what I was using, and I hit it too hard, and my chest was pounded. It felt like my heart was going to beat out of my chest. And I passed out in the in the hall floor, in the hallway floor, and man, this is when me and Lady Boss was still together. Um, she come in from work and found me in the in the floor, and she finally got me got me kind of halfway come to, and I got up out of the floor and went and laid down on the couch and was almost right back out. I mean, I was. That scared me, y'all. But then I did it again. I mean, I, I, I didn't I didn't experience that again. I mean, I had experienced that before, but not that bad. And but I just I, I kept on doing what I shouldn't have been doing. And I, I thank God every day that that He didn't take me. I mean that I mean that shows me right there that that I do have a purpose. And. I can't say that I have, but I would like to say that I have taken my last drug. Uh, I don't never want to see none of that stuff again. None of it. Um, just got to take it one day at a time, y'all. But I love y'all so much, and all the all the support and blessings that y'all send uh, on the messages and. And when I when I do my lives, y'all, it's greatly appreciated. I love y'all so much, and that, that that helps me to get helps me get through. I mean, knowing that I've got so many people that care for me and want to see me do better. I mean, even 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 Lady Boss does. I mean, we still text a little bit here and there. Um, as y'all know, I mean, y'all are on y'all are on her channel. Y'all know she's got a boyfriend now I mean I'm I'm really happy for her. I'm I'm glad that she's found somebody that that can hopefully be her happily ever after and I'm I'm really I'm really I'm grateful for that because I wasn't you know I mean I I'm not even gonna go there I'm sorry y'all um but yeah we we still we still text a little bit here and there, and we're trying to get on that friendship level. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna take some time because we tomorrow, well, the 27th would have been eight years for me and her. I mean, that, today's 26, so yeah, tomorrow, well, y'all will see it on Thursday. So I mean, but yeah, that would have been that would have made that would have made eight years for us. Of being together, and most of it was turmoil because of me and my addiction. And I wish every day that I could go back and change everything, but I can't. And but I can't, I can't beat myself up about it either, because if I do, then that's gonna put me in the wrong frame of mind that I don't want to be in. I just gotta. Be thankful that we can still that we can still try to be friends. And I don't get me wrong, I'll always love her. And that'll never that'll never change. You can't unlove somebody. But and I know that I know that I'm, pr I'm pretty sure she feels the same way. But anyway, y'all, time for me to go. Dinner was good. I love them baked bar bar baked barbecue pork chops. With that seasoning on them, them green beans, seasoned green beans, and biscuits. I got my belly full. I'm gonna chill and edit this video and get it ready for y'all to see. Hi right, y'all, I love you and thank you once again for coming aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed. And I'm always a mess. And uh, until next time, may y'all stay blessed, never stressed, and try to stay out of a mess. But if you do get in one. Always remember, calling the good Lord 
he'll have to do it if you only believe. And uh, y'all, the train ride has come to an end for today. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. I love y'all. Peace.